gotta give it that juice for second gear. I'm okay with that. Beautiful. How's it going, officer? This is my Ducati Hyper Motard 939 SP. <laughs> By the way, my name is Mike. We've been talking for like so long. And your name is? Josh. Josh. Pleasure to meet you, man. Um, I probably won't stick around too long. I probably. No problem. Right in that spot, man. This is where I was at uh, before. Industrial area completely closed, so heads up. Don't come on the video talking trash. Here we go, boys. This is my Ducati Hyper Motard 939 SP. It's been a long time coming. Um, this bike has become a dream bike. Her name is Ray. And uh, we debarked on a wheelie journey together. As you guys know, I got myself a KLX, dumped it a couple of times, wrecked it a few times, learned and rotate, and now I'm here. This is where we just leveled up slowly until we like it. Let's hear how she sounds. Beautiful, as usual. And uh, let's get some clutch up, some drills, some rear brake. There we go, hitting that rear brake. How's it going, officer? Not much, man. <laughs> I'm not racing. I am practicing here, though, so. <laughs> yeah, just me. I've been pretty, uh, how do you call it, pretty, like, adamant about watching who comes and who goes and stuff. Um, I come here on the weekends because my wife is like, oh, it's perfect, it's empty, so, but not racing. I am practicing back and forth. I'm not on the main road and stuff, so. No, absolutely, yeah, the bike is definitely a little bit more loud. And uh, another office, I used to park it, practice at another lot. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Nah, no worries, man. Sorry, do you mind if I come closer? I can't really. Hear, I can't really. I have earplugs in. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I am going back and forth and stuff like that, staying off the road. But um, there's a Kmart that was completely empty. I practiced there 
They called cops a couple of times. Um, a few officers told me, oh, come to the industrial area, find like an empty spot. I don't even come on the weekdays. I come like on the uh, weekends where everything is closed already. But the bike is definitely loud. But I thought to myself, oh, there's no homes here, so I'm sure nobody's going to call. But I'm assuming there's some small business owners here, of course. Yeah, I I completely understand. My bike is licensed. I'm insured. Everything else, I'm. Oh. <laughs> now I have a couple. I have like a collection and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, I have a couple bikes. Yeah. A Ducati too. The brand. <laughs> yeah. No way. Oh, you just gotta be. The thing is, they're not completely um dangerous all right so like while i'm practicing here doing slow maneuvers i am doing like wheelies and stuff like that but i off the road away from people but the, what's really kind of scary about riding is really everyone else around you so people tend to they're not commonly uh seeing such a small vehicle moving at most time you hear the sound you've already passed kind of thing and there was like the study that shows when somebody's like driving or not accustomed to motorcycles, they would look in their peripheral where you would spot me, for example, you would still spot me or you'd spot a vehicle. The bike you wouldn't because the brain does, is not used to registering motorcycles. So I think those are the more uh, scary parts. You just got to be super. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they are, you know what it is? They, they are dangerous to some degree, but what happened is that uh, if you're like a mature person, you could have self control. It's like, for example, each bike has different categories. There's like 300 cc's, small, not very fast. You could climb up to 400, 600, then you have like 750s, then you have thousands. And then at each level, you know, you're breaking like 100, 120. And then when you're like at the, a thousand, you're like three digits plus, like. 230 to 40 so it all depends but it's all about self-control actually you have to really be composed because <laughs> most people get out of i mean i'm sure you've seen people riding on the highway going crazy and stuff you're signing your own death warrant at that point <laughs> this one is a ducati hyper motard 939 sp so it's a thousand so it's one of the bigger ones yeah 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 so what they did they took like a super bike engine in here and then made it like a dirt bike style. I have different bikes, like different. Um, I have like, uh, this one's more like my dirt bike style. I have like a super bike and I have uh, naked bikes for more relaxed. And then I have like dirt bikes if I go off roads with friends and so like But Huh? More of a cruiser. Those are nice. I mean, those are really the safest. You can go like a Harley or an Indian. Uh, they're pretty much chill bikes and stuff. Nothing crazy aggressive. I think you won't get any kind of compromise in those bikes kind of thing. But. <laughs> By the way, my name is Mike. We've been talking for like so long. It was nice meeting you. And your name is? Josh. Josh. Pleasure to meet you, man. Um, I probably won't stick around too long. I probably. Like I said, we, we get the call. We have to, you know, come here and make sure everything's okay. But no problem. I mean, you're fine. You're not doing anything wrong. All right. So, well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Nice Pleasure. There you go. He's leaving. <laughs>